So the other day we started working on the color blending modeled after this uh, Taiga mixtape cover. Um, and you did good work, um, including uh, Lishka's DJ Lulu. She did a tremendous job on this. But I'm looking at these um, faces, and I think that the colors are kind of kind of saturated, they're kind of washed out a little bit. I think that we can do a much better job with a little bit of practice, even though you already did a stellar job, especially for your first time. So uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag this image to the new layer just to make a copy of it. Now I'm going to press Control u to desaturate. So now I got two images. I'm just going to leave it like that in case I want to go back or if I make a mistake. Next I'm going to use the magic wand. I'm going to click on the black. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to switch to the black in the foreground. I'm going to use the paint bucket and fill it. I'm going to press Control D so that I've now got this image right here which is going to be um, helpful in a little bit. I'm going to create one more layer. Uh, and I'm going to change the blending mode to color, and that's really, really important. So we're on this new layer, and we're going to start adding color. Now, I really want to model it after this uh, this mixtape cover. So I'm looking at Tiger's face, and I see orange, I see red, I see yellow, I see green, I see purple, I see teal, I see blue, I see quite a few shades in here, and I'm going to try to uh, replicate that in my image. So I'm going to start, I'll start with red, I like to start with red, and I'm going to limit each area, each color to just one specific area, and I'm just clicking lightly as I go through, and I right click just to show you I've got one of these normal brushes, hardness all the way down to 0%, and diameter at approximately a little more than 100, 150, but you're going to um, want to play around with it. So that looks good to start. Now I'm going to switch colors from red to orange. Now check this out guys because when I do that I could do a couple things. I could go like this and that looks okay and if I'm like right there that looks okay but if I want it to sort of um, transition a little bit more seamlessly I'm going to reduce the flow from a hundred percent I'm just going to experiment to fifty and when we do that it blends in much better. And you'll see what I mean as I'm going through this. So here I've got mostly red and orange. It's already taken up a lot of the face. So I can switch to a new color. And you'll notice that with the flow right here, that transition does not look good. That teal to orange is too much of a, too striking. So I'm going to press Control alt Z. I'm going to reduce the flow. I'll reduce it even a little bit more. I'll try 37. And that looks better. That looks much, much better. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, one final aspect. When I look at Tiger's image, I can see that the shadows around his nose, his ears, his lips, his eyes are quite dark. Whereas this image of Jose, that's not the case. So I'm going to click on the black and white image of Jose. Um, not the colors, not the black layer. I'm going to then click on the black and white cookie. And I'm going to I'm going to try curves because we want to emphasize these shadows a little bit more. And there's a few ways to go about doing that, but if I drop down this right here in the lower left-hand corner and I raise this S curve in the upper right-hand corner, I see it creates more of an emphasis on the shadows. Now also that makes the color a little bit darker so what we can do is reduce the opacity on the color just a little bit and we're going to want to play around with it and if I click right here and I press Control E that merges the two layers so it looks quite different. I want you to play around with it. I want you to see what looks best and uh, I'm excited to see your work. And here's one possible example of what your uh, final image might look like. 